Keşke CS Spor'a dersedim be Berko. Keşke be kanka. İlerlemesem de bırakmasaydım çok iyiydi de. İşte hayatın ne getireceğini bilemiyorsunuz. City Liverpool ne olur kanka. Kanka Liverpool'un sakatları var. City zaten çok iyi. Beraberlik bizim işimize gelir. Karam etme M9 mu? M9. Yani iki buçuk yıl yaşadım ya. Aşamaya iyi kadar çekeceksin. Evi bırakıp gitmeyecek. Saklayı göreceksin. Sevemeyecek. Advanced Aya Mechanics 6. ay sü demiş. 6. ayı mı tutuyorsun? Serhat 3. ayı tutmuş. 3 ay oldu bilinici 30 ayları diyelim mi şefim demiş. 30. ayı mı tutuyorsun? Teşekkürler. Evet topluluk sunucumuz açılır. Tek sorumuz var şu anda. Belki bir DM veya başka bir şey daha açabiliriz. Ya başım ağrıyor da yani. Tam uyuyamadım ya. Bu müzik ne abi? Şimdi yenim ne yenim. Beni cezerek gün gün atayar. Tavalar da Türkçe pop sarıyor ya. Ne diyorsunuz? Pazar sabah şarkıları tamam. Hala playlist hala abinin gibi. Çok sever zaten Demet Akalın. Hastası yani. Maç live mi gözüküyor? Yok şu an dur bir saniye sessiz. So uh, after that colleagues went out to team. So we need to try another players. And we were no, uh, we weren't uh, practicing too much. Never like we are spending like Alex 10 hours a day. Alex çıktı başka aldık çok fazla practice yapamadık. It's like going for nothing you know. Because we have uh, changed every season. That's not good. As I said uh, that's like unstable performance will con uh, continue a little bit. Uh, but Like we need to trust each other more and we need to communicate more. We need to chill more. Like uh, sometimes we are going through like chaos, you know. Chaos is not good uh, in any team. Yeah. So that's gonna be that's gonna continue a little bit, but we will fi figure it out as soon as possible. I just want to say that's on your mouse hand as well. You okay now? Any pain? It's all normal. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling like it never happened. Okay, no. good. Thank you very much. Good luck very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not exactly feeling like they're all there yet in the internal fire camp. Definitely still some things to iron out. I think we've seen that reflected in their game. Damla dokuzuncu eklemiş diyeceğiz. Ey nerede demiş? Kral Manis ikinci ay teşekkür ederim. They've gotten here on pure skill alone and grit from Santaris in particular. Waxik also pitching in with the off, but it's been the individual performances that have shown for them rather than the strategic side, and that's a result, of course, of having Emor stepping in in the IGL role and losing Major. So for me, I think it's going to be a lot tougher going up against an end squad that. Starting to rise up towards their ceiling. Ancient bandamışız tabii ki infano bandamışlar. Artık öp pick atmışız. Ve hiç pick atmışlar. Ancient hala iyi ama. Vertigo pick comes in from eternal fire. If Vertigo is in the pool, they're gonna pick it. It's kind of that simple. And in terms of the pick friends, this is a punish pick. This is a map that Eternal Fire have not enjoyed a great deal with this lineup as well as, you know, looking back in towards the lineup with Majors. So they had other places they could go, but they said this is a map. It might not be our best, but Eternal Fire is really comfortable. Yeah. And the third is going to be new, where both teams really enjoy it. So mm, looking at this veto, uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard, Mike. This is this is a close game. Well, I'm going to ask you to call it. So uh, who's it going to be, Alan? It's going to be Ents, but not nearly as strongly as a lot of people think. I think it's no more than 65-35. Really? How are you feeling about this, John? I'm kind of similar. I think it's going to be end. It's going to be a close one. Likely three maps. The veto caught me a little off guard, to be honest. That Mirage punish pick. I thought it was going to be. Şu anda iyi bir kanka. I think it's still going to be end getting over. Tanrım günaydın ya. I'm feeling end for two. I'm feeling like they get us uh, on track and ahead of iyidir. schedule here. But we'll see if it is in fact going Konuştuk to be easy for end or if it's going to be particularly challenging. When we come back, your casters will be the Aa. big cheeses, James Breedolf and Halumi. 
the fuck? What is going on? Abi şu an var bin atayım ya Efe'ye sen atayım. Abi benden çıkmaz o. Recep Valorant oynuyor. Sadeymiş. As. Dota oynuyorum diyor. Burası Rotterdam arkadaşlar. Perkse. Nasıl? Çok iyi değil mi? Yeşillik bu. Rahat. People are happy. Türkiye'nin en Avrupa'yı şehri ya. Net yani. Burası benim memlekete yakın aslan bey. Burası Rotterdam. Amsterdam'ın yanı hemen. Gittim bana. Arf ikinci en yüklemiş sağ demiş az ikinci en kutu olsun. Olayı güncelleme geldi mi daha gelmedi herhalde 2 günü var sanırım. Eskiri fabrikanın olayı bok kalkmasa güzel şey artı bir. Haydi FPS 25. ay 25 neyimiz kutlu olsun demiş Eyvallah teşekkür ederim <gülüyor> Tekerden aldım lan pıfı keçi Nereden alacağım Arsapa'nın oluyor Hollanda'ya soğudum Hiç öyle Meseleyi kişiselleştirmeyelim soracağım Mayer'in gitmesi hakkında ne düşünüyorsun? Ben Mayer artı 3 işte. İyi oldu. Engin abi şimdi kurarız. ESL Challenger. ESL Challenger. Turizm hoş geldin. Tamam Togli sen de olacaksın ya merak etme. Fark eder mi? Sizin logosu nice kaplıtmalara benzemiyor Semifinal in Rotterdam is upon us Ent versus a somewhat unpredictable eternal fire Now in terms of predictable Sen takımın koç şeysin, maskotusun On the desk for Ent Do you think eternal fire have more than a 35% chance as uh, Alan was alluding to. Yeah, I think the fact that he was a little bit hesitant does ex exactly inspire me with a bit more confidence as well because I was starting to think that this Vito actually does look like Eternal Fire could take it. I don't think Nuke is <laughs> really <laughs> going <laughs> to map for themselves. In fact, it's been one map that they've actually succeeded in quite recently. Yeah. So if they're able to get themselves to a third map in this series, it's if it starts to be a bit more of a toss-up, then I think the series would have presented itself otherwise. Yeah, Eternal Fire, a team that have had many changes, be it players, in-game leaders, and um, it, it really is hard to... to yani Spurs'ın videosu var ya onu mu bilsek acaba? Şimdi video açacağım maç başlayacak biliyorum. <gülüyor> oh, oh video kötü ama. İnsan üstü reflekslerim var mı? Aksi videosu yoktan. 
İzleyelim mi o zaman? Başlayacak gibi ama ya. Herkes çok fokus. Duffel Sass hoş geldin. Bakıyoruz hemen kim ne kullanıyor. G Pro. Sensei. Razer. Burada bir Razer daha var. Burada Zoy var. Güzel. Artık böyle başlıyoruz arkadaşlar. Let's go. T site'da başlıyoruz. Xbox'ta smoke flash flash var. Pedro Valo turnuvasında donetlerde geriye düştük ya. Arabistan Ortadoğu bastı parayı aldı yani slotu. But there are some smokes in the hands of Ents, and they'll try to hold on to them for as long as they can. And if Eternal Fire go for a, a slow round here, and a timely smoke comes through, then it could really cause them some problems. So we'll keep an eye on that. But as we can see, Snappy's hand will be full as far as his smoke. Olé, kim será o mesmo? Kanka ne yapayım yine işimizin başındayız maç izliyoruz Dantelis'ten Dink attı ek olarak şu ek olarak sen atışım ben almamız lazım sen ne yapayım Allah gülüşümü selamladım işte ben de maç izlemeye geldim Hoş geldin de sana beklenen şey oldu Eee çok iyi oldu Horil düşün işte nasıl bir tergahtayız Bakın bu arada harbiden 150 euro falan atsan oynuyorduk yani bugün turnuvamız vardı. Kanka daha iyi oynardık ya bence. Yani kimya bir tık daha iyi olurdu isterseniz. But that's because he almost hasn't needed to. He's actually been more of a clutch player for them. They've had Emor pop off in certain games. They've had Zentaris as well on these entries. And we know as well from when we watched the game against Nixa, Zentaris can be just completely unrelenting. So you you have to hope that Ents are able to account for that. We've seen the the past. Ojem sekizimiz var. Defin üçüncü yutmuş. Domino özel sap demiş. Domino kutlu olsun evi mice mutlu yıllara. Ne oldu? Teknikal pause mı eder? Yoksa taktikal mı? Mouse cable management. Mouse cable management. Now, back in the day, some people used to tape the cable to the side of their monitor, which would be quite interesting if we saw that on LAN. But hey, it's always good to replicate. Hey, cables are on the other side. For consistency. 
Ha sen de 5 tuttuğunuz sayda giriyor tasınlar. Faraday has a UMP in his hands. We'll see what he's able to do with it. So it's basically a repeat of the last round as far as eternal fire are concerned. This is another dangerous round. No USP. He's on there. One way smoke. Snappy will try and use that to his advantage. Does give up a audio cue. This is a good crash. We did that. But some players. What are they all doing here? Inshallah. Let's go. A little bit faster in how they're approaching the A side default. Çok kontrolüz. In this round, they know that there should be a buy here for end. Çık adam yok. Süper. Çık oğlum oğlum. Çık çık çık koş. Successfully in the previous round. Öyle ne varmış bir tane? Ela do. Big surprise. Snappy was unsure that short had even been considered here by Eternal Fire. So Centauri's got a freebie. Snappy's knife out and some pious around the corner. A little bit more successful. In fact, not taking a lick of damage. Gets his hands on it. They cannot use this rifle to any sort of effectiveness. Eternal Fire, nice clean seat so far after losing Centauri. That was good. Great situation for Eternal Fire. Trading that frag on a short position and taking the rifle away. But this one is still. Dangerous, and there's not too much for it. Benji, my pepper card can't get caught. Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, Benji, and they will start 0-3 when their first buy round comes in. Keeping good numbers here on Eternal Fire as well, so they've built up a nice buffer moving into the gun rounds. Even if Ents are able to answer back, it'll have to be consistency from them before they can even think about having to deal with an anti-eco, any sort of faster round or uh, throwaway for mm. Eternal Fire side. But this is a, a great way to jumpstart into the series as well, being able to keep the confidence high, get all the kills you know you have to get, and we don't see any of the awkwardness that was presented in some of the earlier group stage games for the low buys. We go back to that first force buy from it. We will, we will remember that some pious left 900 oh, no, no. and that will allow him to yield an, an AWP and Kevlar in this round. An opening frag for ends is how you want to start your first buy round when you're looking for your first round on the CT side of Vertigo. Snappy will head down the ramp to a more aggressive position later on. Fire to consider their options here. So a lot of lurking plays from Paz throughout this tournament, especially on Vertigo. Sometimes the the timings don't work out, but it can be pretty give or take. He's been taking some good advantages as well. Sometimes the backstab's not considered, and we'll see if Ents is able to recognize that as a possibility. You have to deal with what's going on first. Eternal Fire is going to hit towards the B side. Malta as well will force Diha out, but Emor is dropped in. Yeah, right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The double kill with the Galil is sensational, and Ents cannot go in for this retake. They have no util, no kits either. They have to try and chew down those numbers before Eternal Fire get that bomb plant, but it will go down now. Yeah, they need to be offered something here. By Eternal Fire, but Paz's angle may be a brutal one. Yapma. Looking up, able to bring his crosshair back down and deal with Snappy, which leaves Valde with not much to do. Doesn't have a kit either. Just try to quietly flick away. Good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, good, now there's no one on the radio. He is alone as Ents will lament what happened in this round. As we can see, he is looking to rescue the AWP. Catch, catch, be tar benji, senja ber. Get blown away though. Anka, on alt. And that will be key. They'll have to go for something aggressive surely in this next round. But that will definitely be expected by Eternal Fire as well. Yeah, this was that double kill from X Cloud that really kicked off the round into the B bomb site. It seemed like they were going to go one for one. Alt on this. Pass having the lurk pull off and then this double kill. I mean, X Cloud was certainly a player that stood out as well in the game against Mobistar. Just being able to. Anka, biz de rahatı kapıma çok var ya. Trading opportunities and as well cracked into a few sites, brought them into some contestable moments for post plants. Biz bir fark açılınca şey yapıyoruz. Kant mesela şu an niye kazanıyoruz? Kantırlamayı oynuyoruz. Adamların ne yaptığını anlamaya çalışıyoruz, oynuyoruz. Fark açılınca. Bir şey yapıyoruz. Holda geçiyoruz. Herkes bir normal default oyunda oynuyor. Yani ekstra şey yapılmıyor. Çözülmeye çalışılmıyor. 
6. ay. Sen hem Berk'in yüzünü kekilmemiş 6. ayı nasıl kutluyorsun? Berk maç falan söylüyorsun. Oyunun stop kontrolü olur. Aynen öyle Tuni. İşimizin başındayız yani. O da boksa bir dokunurmuş. At maximum loss bonus now. We'll be buying around the WPL. Yeah, but I'm still going to miss him. Valde has mustered an M4A1S as well. Of course, taking his Kev last route from last round will give him a bit of extra money. Not too much in the name of utility, though. And indeed, this will be a very forward position from St. Pius. I would imagine his scope has probably been heard. But how will Eternal Fire deal? Or that boost was there. Ah, yeah, or that boost was there. It's just. Going for the run boost over, make sure that ult can't get any sort of contributions and Sunpias doesn't want to stick around, knows they've crossed over. He was supposed to be able to defend that line, but it will cause Dihar to come in his back up. I'm very good, the wrong things will come. Super, I'm going to take a look at it. Pass, look at it, pass! Pass! Flash bang and Sunpias gets away just before disaster strikes, but maybe it's going to strike into the bomb site. Allah'ım yarabbim. Allah'ım sen büyüksün. Allah'ım var ya, Matrix gibi dojuruz derken imoru kaybettim. Güzel trade. Bir trade daha lazım. Hadi oğlum özgür. Cana 95 tecrübeli. Neler saydı ya. Dört bizde olsaydı. Really wanted to get a kill before going for a bomb plant, but his hand is too much for the clock is ticking. The smoke grenade just creates some space, and now the CTs know exactly where he is. Will they double you all the way through? Looks like oh, he didn't actually commit to the bomb plant. Tried to get his gun out and resume as fast as possible. Means they don't get that bonus. Good job, good job. Good job. Easy, easy. Anti, anti. So that's the first round for Ents. Two players survive. And Ents collected themselves very quickly as well as soon as they heard the plant shooting themselves. Berg, bir gün Jose ile Vertigo ya girdik. Ram boostlara, smoklara çalışıyoruz böyle. 2-3 saat aralıksız çalışıyoruz. Ulan ertesi gün map'e update geldi, map değişti amana koyayım. Hatırlıyorum o günü. Kanka şey veremezlerdi ya. Fake veremezlerdi. Ya veremezdi. Saniye ağzı da koşacaklardı. Hani bir daha fake atsa belliydi ya ikine kuracağı. O yüzden kurması en mantıklı şeydi. Diyar, getting cheeky by the stairs. Won't have to stay his welcome though. Ne oldu? Yumoru kaybettik. Bak bundan bahsediyoruz adam. Hiç kontrolü oyunum, oyunumuz yok. Adam yine aynı execute'la girsek buraya iyi yaksak. Valla burada oynayamayacak. Şimdi fazla elinde bir şey varken yapalım önce. Ve şuraya flash bir şöyle banyo ile şuraya girse. I think getting that pick on the A-Bomb site might incentivize them further. Snappy finding Woxic and Zentaris spammed so low through that smoke. Çok iyi lan. Some pious though, it's punished. That AWP wasn't going to be able to capitalize on that low. Aldan yapıyordum. But now an AWP can be retrieved for Zentaris. And when you're low, the fact you've got a scope, it shouldn't matter too much. You just got to fire a little quicker. We know Zentaris is quick. Forty-five seconds on the clock. They've heard one AK. Not a guarantee that both players are here. You can see Marden looking towards mid. They don't have complete information yet. As that clock ticks, though, they will start to focus on the bomb sites, and mid will be less of a pressing concern. We can see Paz moving up short as angles are being held with that AWP. Held the flash. The flash. Side of eternal fire here. See if they choose to use it. There it is, deployed. Really got to commit to this bomb plot now. Those Antares lands the AWP. Looking for the one. Ah be. Going for that flick. Not quite getting there. Giriyor, sızıyor, sızıyor. Pas, pas, sızı. Sprayed by the smoke. It looks like Martin makes his way through the slide. Never expected that in the two versus one. Another round in the bag. Felip gets a war. Really nice stuff. And just playing so far back as well, allowing Eternal Fire to slowly chew through that timer. And it's good to see that they're recognizing that they're not going to be able to get the same thing against Movistar as well. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently. Just a lot of slow, grueling rounds consistently.
and I'm actually a little surprised with how much focus there's been on this B bomb site for Eternal Fire in the past few rounds. Maybe even realizing that when they played Movistar, that was a massive Man Recep, 44. ay selam Ali Ekim selam. Eternal Fire are setting the precedent early that that's not an easy venture for any B anchor. Ya AFK kalmayalım round başladı hadi. Very interesting buy here from Eternal Fire. The urgency of this buy would suggest that they really want to stop the CT economy from building, doing some damage for the rest of the half. With a buy like this, but they haven't gone for a full force buy, but it's a pretty deep buy. What is the minimum margin of success here? Is it two kills? Is it two kills on a bomb plant? Many questions to be answered by Eternal Fire if they can, but perhaps an ent a better equipped ent. Mesko bunu al. Sniper rifle for Waxit. He's got one of the two AK 47s here is the multi man swing. One for one so far. Now favor Eternal Fire. Sen hep ne yaşıyorsun? Ben planning himself as well. I think Catch Eternal Fire off but forced off of the angle. Reinforcements are here and that rifle recovered here for Zantares. Great kill from Snappy. Could have been an awkward fight but doesn't take a single point of damage. Actually re-challenging for a secondary kill. The bias already holding onto short. So that rifle doesn't do too much more and Emor can do nothing with his as well. This is three in a row for Ents. Promising start for Eternal Fire. They get two kills. Pick up a third rifle for a while. But uh, you can see Ents on the side. Ne kadar rahat alıyorduk tıkandık ha. Maybe playing against expectations because of course the last workers are going to expect them to be further back. Böyle oldu işte. Catch them off guard will be fragged but the Buraya round will go in their favors of Pius holding down the short position. Yapsalar vereyim istese köpsüsü verecekler ve gidecekler. Aa o kadar bitti round. Ha bitti ha bunu. Direkt 5-3. They'll be in eco territory as Ents take a time out. Yeah, you looked at that re-aggression there from Ents, and you know we we looked back at the Eternal Fire game as well. That it's a, it's a move they pull out themselves, and this is the thing moving out of the group stage and into the playoffs is that the teams that you're playing against have all of these protocols pretty hammered in. They just are so good at mixing it up and and finding the right timings for it. So nice call from Snappy to just stand his ground because they were ready to contest. Want to see what Eternal Fire do with their cash? Like you said, it wasn't in the best of places. So. Center. Acın acımızdır ya. Geçer. Geçmez ama alışırsın ya. Enough for a buy. The next round, but giving themselves a couple opportunities and Emor will put himself into a position where he can try and find an opening engagement, maybe even bleed more weapons over to his team. But that's not gone. Ben çok kolay mı buraya çıkarken? They were there nice and early and had backup as well, just in case that fright didn't go his way. So the one rifle they bring in lost instant. Snappy using that presence, those tracers from the AK to take some aggressive presence. And Eternal Fire are forced away. There's an upgrade for Snappy if he wants it. As an opportunity That's moment. That's true. But for now, he will hold close up the ladder. They go. Who remembers the old ladder sound? That clunky, violent <laughs> sound, brutal on the ears. I think we're all glad that that one. Keşke almasan döndü. Timing diye alamadık o zaman ya. Çünkü döndüğü zaman vurması lazım o zaman. Was Murat oyun ince inik tutabilir. Teşekkür ederim Muratım. For echoing players in mid target practice perhaps for ends although we've seen these rounds go wrong especially when there are three teams around Valde spots the bomb that's a big information the continuation spray they run into it and he's got support here from Marden as well no players lost for ends exactly the kind of round that they want four to four now the score is okay it's going to be such a good side there for Valde getting a super super give me the opening kill into Emor and then collecting as well on the machine of the machine for eternal fire he was everywhere they couldn't avoid him and he made sure to perform in his role and that's one of the questions we have about this ends roster is how quickly they can get everybody up to speed with their roles when they initially came in they were saying that Valde was going to go pretty much one for one with what Sphinx was doing and he's been able to hold his own in terms of the numbers but they haven't always been able to get him to have high impact rounds comes away with 25 kills a game but quite a few lost opportunities so Sitim hep ya sitimiz de iyi zaten kafa kafaya götürsek yani işimize gelir a few rounds prior a warning shot perhaps when there are plenty of rounds to play in this first half he will take the lead next then and Pius, of course, on the sniper rifle as well. Been instrumental in a number of rounds. Woxic announces his presence. No mystery there. And you can see some Pius not shy to have a look himself. Nothing doing just yet, though. Minute 10 on the clock as Eternal Fire. Not shy for a fast play up the ramp. We'll have to go for a slow approach on this occasion. 
but that's out. That's down. Means the time you never took you. Holding for so long can find nothing from his angle. Really hard shot to hit there. Look for the AWP, but Centaurus finally springs in and Stampias makes sure he can get nothing further. No double kills. We saw a lot of them yesterday as well. Centaurus being locked down early on. It's worth noting that there are no smokes for the classic retake that we often see on the A bomb site for the CT side. They have an incendiary and that's about it. They've got a frag out. Speaking of which, oh, Cookie, uh -huh. and maybe a horrible finish, although there's a few there's some more fighting to do. Modern and Valde drop to the barbecue. Dihar and Sampayas remain. Ben aldı a on Dihar only. Walks it behind the sandbags now. Yine. on the ramp. Waiting for the CTs to make their moves so hard to deal with. Çok iyi olan. Diha gets popped, cracked like a crab leg, which leaves the Pyas in a very tough situation. Bitti bitti yani. Nice one. But they will take nice. him instead, and it's another player back shots. in the lead. Oh, how on earth does that happen, though? A double kill on a Molotov, uh, and just the the late step into it. It was an eternal fire from Xcloud. I don't know how it seemed to have lasted that long. Maybe not even understanding how far it had spread. But it's that immediately opened up the opportunity. Aldı for eternal fire in this post plant and once they get into nice safe post plant positions like you said there was no smoke nothing like exam their at, sight lines or even forced them into fights eternal fire took their time and made sure to hit the shots they needed i think in that replay there was a Lash. team Lash. with the mp9 which, which maybe Tricky. contributed to All that molotov mm. frag as well Çıkartmadık. who knows awps are out for both squads snappy and the red early See if that's a more conservative position as he does like to play aggressive down this ramp, but with only 15 HP, as we can see, he will fall back, not wanting to give that early frag away. Again, eternal fire with the numbers looking to challenge on the ramp, and because of that low HP, Snappy will take the AWP. And we know how good St. Pius can be on that sniper rifle with the multi frags as well. You do wonder if that'll have a part to play in the story of this round. There used to be a belief that if you had an S in your name, you were just suddenly gifted with an AWP, but it's been a long time since then. Some Pius are fighting for the ramp control. Çıkalım ama çıkalım oradan, çıkalım. will collect on a couple of kills. Xdot as well cannot find the trade, and it's Woxic and Zentaris, the two heavy hitters for Eternal Fire, still oh alive, be. but cannot get anything done. Berk, a round for ends after kanka. a nice streak from Eternal Fire to kick things off. Ents are now in contestion for the lead. Eternal Fire will expect to be strong on their team, I would imagine. So Yapamıyoruz ya. İlk pick nereden adam bir white atsa şurada. İki verdik rampada. Bak şurada bir tane oyuncu white pick atsa cross bossa. Ya da flash'la falan çıksak. İyiyiz ama iyiyiz. 5-5'i beş iyi hala. Nutski mixer gitmedi mi? Oh iyi. Trying to catch somebody off guard, but Ents may be reading some weakness in the buy of eternal fire. Ah, biz niç niç bey denemiyoruz ya. Ah, işliyor kanka şu an. Adam kazanıyoruz. Approaching the A ramp control. We've seen it too many times now for it not to be a trend and something that they're targeting. The slow rolling A bomb site execute. They always seem to try and line up those smokes at a certain timing, and Ents want to capitalize. Of çok iyi lan Flut. Çok iyi beyler. Tane low HP zaman. Morun bir canı var mı? Tek başınasın lan Emur. Yeah, he's got a number of problems here, protecting the nice. rifle, trying okay. to control the area, pushing him forward, pushing him into the of. deagle of Paz. Bırak mı lan can orayı? Ne falacak ya? In the numbers, not in the weaponry though. Biliyorlar. A multi-frag with one yeah, of these, right. uh, this M4, AK, could really turn things back into Ents' favor, but maybe it's easier said than done. Woxic making some steps on the ramp now, has collected the rifle, down he goes, we make it all the way down. Ses vererek döndü ama yakalan. Aa! Çık lan Özgür! Oh. Çok iyi. Kaç koş. Koş be. Be koş. Go be. Go be. Koş koş koş koş koş koş koş koş. Lord git City'e kar. City'e kar. City'e kar. Dip dip dip dip. Dip. Beyler ya. Enti diyelim. Info yok ama gayet normal ya. Enti. Güzel ekon. Güzel ekon. Yapacak bir şey yok dostlar. Ortada smoke yok, flash yok, hiçbir şey yok yani. Hiç kızlı olmamız lazım. Bu tek şansımız oydu. Would have liked some more damage, but not the biggest round in the world for them. Their big rounds will be their buy rounds. Their full buy rounds, their rifles and their snipers. 
Bu da çok iyi bulduk entry'yi. That is a tiny heat map together, and together they will fall. Arzival, Beşinci ay sağ as Beşinci ayımız kutu olsun. Paz uyan, paz! Şey vermedik ya, Davut Gamer bir dur. Bakın benim... Diye <gülüyor> Five Kalashnikov for Eternal Fire in this round again. The focus on the A bomb side. I'll be entertained by the smoke grenades for the time being. Need to prioritize getting halfway up the ramp. Ben yakına alsa en azından bir başlangıçta olmuyor mu ya o? First they must await the smokes. Extremely unfavorable to try and make a play through them, and sometimes they do with flashbangs, but that can invite variants. They'll move away for now. Minute 15. Not wanting to waste all their time. If a third smoke comes down, they've achieved no presence, nothing anywhere else. Then they could be pushed into a corner, almost walking to their doom. Çok iyi, güzel, güzel, güzel, güzel sıkıntı. Dur, dur, dur. Dönelim şimdi yavaş yavaş. Oluyor mu? Eksiyota geliyoruz. Rip Prime ne abone olmuş hoş geldin aramızda. Güzel güzel sıkıntı yok. Bekleriz Smo. Başka Smoke. Tam plays da var. 5 numara, 5 numara. Ben 5 numara, 5 numara neresi oğlum burası? Çok iyi tam orası burasıymış. Orası burasıymış. I love that Molly. A nuisance Molly. If you were lining up grenade for some kind of execute, that Molly would really be in the button. Those smokes will eventually come in, so maybe it has been delayed. Look at the time now as they're only throwing. Çok iyi, çok iyi. Çok iyi. Smoke flash bir şey lazım. Çok iyi, güzel flash. Harika beyler, harikasınız. Bravo. Bir tersten attı işte Murat da işe. Post plant position for eternal fire. Snappy and some pious. What do you choose to do? Murat da işi yaparsa durum dörde bir olur. Save might be the call. Money's not great here for Ents to afford up an AWP and all the rifles alongside it. So keeping hold of these weapons would be key for Ents to maintain a good defense. But it's the two X's for eternal fire that are the kiss of death on this B bomb site. Nice collection of frags from both Exiled Centaurs and Eternal Fire aren't going to try too hard for this chase. Satisfied to have gotten themselves a sixth round if they had just allowed the momentum to be stolen away by this international. Exab, wow, Dokuzunjai, Pushkan, baby, Dokuzunjai, Muskitos. The desk I know have mentioned it as well. If Vertigo is open in the map pool, Eternal Fire will try to pick it. So it is so key, especially with the discussion we were having earlier about whether they go to a three-man series or not. Acaba City'de mi daha iyiz, T'de mi ya? City'de daha iyiyiz ya. AP alacağız, City'de öbür AP alacak. Can koşanları vuracak, bitecek. Forcing any aggression on the ramp, delaying the grenades on the B bomb site. That Molly just to stop those lineups of the smokes. 15 seconds on the clock, but when those AKs come out and the headshots rain into the B bomb site, there's only so much you can do. The score is tied once again. Both teams on a buy. Once again, but Dihar will trade. Looking for a second one if they if they want it as well. He's ready to fight. He has been every round. Not shy for some aggression, Dihar. Why am I not going in? Four v four though will favour Eternal Fire. But minutes thirty on the clock. I think he wants to make sure as well. Walksick doesn't get his hands on that AWP. Some pirates wanted to go for an early pick based on his spawn, and so Dihar. Holds eyes over it like a hawk, but he does leave himself very vulnerable to a potential B-side finish. So they found that kill quick. Martin, his position is pretty telegraphed. So fantastic for A. Okay. Centaurs will find one. The spam as well. Snappy only one for one. And so Let's the go. A bomb site instead is the one that's compromised. This is a big value round for EF. If they could take this, they might be looking at a 9-6 scoreline at halftime, which would be huge to finish off their T side. But Martin is still in this, and we know he loves a multi-frag. There's the first one. We'll see if he can find a second. Çok iyi lan birebir. 